Hi everybody, it's Hannah Schooner or Schooner or Later, and today I'm going to show you how to upload a PDF or JPEG of a map you already have to Roll20 and how to make the necessary changes you need to to be ready for your Roll20 game with your players. Thank you. Alright guys, so first you're going to want to go to Roll20, and I have created a game already to use for the tutorial. It's called New Game. You want to click Launch. Might take a little bit to load. In the bottom left corner, there will be a video. I'm going to turn mine off just for the sake of the tutorial. So first, you're going to go to the little photo thing and click Upload. Choose a file. Choose the file of your map on PDF or JPEG or something like that. Open it. You may need to refresh for it to show up in your assets. Um, and there it is. And we're going to go ahead and drag it to our empty page. Um, first, we're going to want to add it to the map layer because maps and tokens are treated differently. We're going to have to choose that we're on the map and background layer. We're going to make it bigger so that we can see it. There is the zoom feature on this is not ideal, but we're going to click page toolbar in settings to change the width and height of our page. Since this is skinny and long, I'm going to make the height a little larger. You can change how much each cell is worth, like five foot or one foot, for example. We're going to fill the page. Zoom back in here. Um, now we're going to click advanced and align to grid. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to highlight a three by three square of what the grid is on your map that's already there. You're going to click OK, align to grid, and sometimes you'll run into the trouble of um, it not fitting once you've done that. So you'll just want to go back to page toolbar, back to the settings of the page to adjust to what you need, make it a little wider in this case. And now we have our map on a page. Now, sometimes you'll run into the issue of the squares, Roll20, not wanting to line them up all the way, and that can get a little annoying, um, at least for me. So what you'll want to do is right-click again and go to Advanced again and click Is Drawing. And if you click It's a Drawing, then you'll be able to drag it anywhere you need to in order to align the squares together. And this just makes it easier so that there's no, you know, it always bothers me if the squares don't line up all the way, but every person is different. And this way, um, tokens will be perfectly in the square where they need to be. So and speaking of tokens, let's go to the token layer and um, see how you can make a token. So you're going to go right back to that um, page you were on for uploads. As you can see, these are all the tokens that I've made for my games in the past. We're just going to take a random one here, put it on the map, click on it. Um, you can drag it anywhere, and as you can see, it fits in the circle. Go ahead and click set Settings. You can name it anything you want for this sake. We're going to call it New PC. You can choose to show the name or not. And if there are multiple players in your game, you can either put it in the control of the player or everybody, depending on if it's an NPC or not. You can write notes that only you as the game master um, can see, such as special abilities they may have. And you can choose to leave these blank or to fill in. You can show HP, armor class, anything like that just to view on the map so it's easier to keep track of. You know, sometimes I don't if we have our character sheets right in front of us, but you have that choice to have those things visible to you. So um, we're going to save that. And now you can see that if you were to put numbers in those, then the hit points in the armor class would show up. And now... She's there, and you could drag her all around. And speaking of tokens, there are also item tokens that you can upload, and you can choose to make them part of the map and unmovable, like a desk or something, but you can also make them movable, like say they find a book. Now, if you search, there will be premium assets that you know you do have to pay for, they're part of Roll20, but there are also search results from the web that are completely free that you can drag onto your map. It's fantastic. And so if you just drag it onto your map and you put it where it needs to be, then if you make it part of the token layer, it will be movable and you, your players can take it and adjust it and things like that. You just want to make sure it's part of the token layer. But if you do want to make it unmovable like a desk, then you can make it part of the map layer. Um, now, as far as revealing a map to your players, 
you can, um, for the sake of this, we're going to click on the settings of the page and enable fog of war. We can create a new page. In order to have your players view that page, you need to drag the player banner. You can change the order of your maps. So we're gonna go into this one. This is just, you can make it a lobby page, anything. So this, you can see that there is a gray like overline. That's the fog of war. Now as a dungeon master, you're gonna be able to see the whole thing just as a little filter, but they're gonna see complete blackness. So to reveal things to them, you know, in the upper left, you can see that little eyeball. You're going to click on that and just drag over whatever you want to be revealed to your players when you want to reveal them. You can reveal as much or as little as you want at a time, um, but they will see complete pitch blackness unless you choose to reveal that to them. Um, and yeah, that is a quick tutorial on how to upload a pre-made map that you have, whether you have the PDF of the adventure or something like that. Um, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to be making more in the future. Thank you. If this tutorial was helpful, please like and subscribe. I'll be making more Roll20 tutorials in the future. Thank you so much.